How you doing? Uh, welcome. My name is John Skippy Limcool. This is a video uh, going through the patches of a new library we've just released called Tetrasonics. And this is, this is an awesome library. I'm excited to show this to you. This is library number five by Tim Dale. He's done Sabersphere, Sabersphere Volume 2. He's also done two libraries. I'll pop up on the screen so you can see the artwork for Omni X and Omni X Volume 2. These are BPM, but oriented towards like analog, stranger things, vintage, tangerine, dream, kind of that kind of direction. This library is unique in that it's aimed at more complex patches than just basic bases and so forth. Tetra meaning four, sonics meaning crazy things going on for your ears to be uh, entertained by. It's using to the max the capabilities and tools inside of Omnisphere. So you're using all the different forms of synthesis, the wave shaping, the FM, all sorts of things to get cool, unique, complex, sonic, harmonic things to happen. It's really, really cool. There's 256 patches in this library. There's a uh, 64 multis. There's 22 original samples that he's created, including some from his vintage in Sonic ESQ1. Has a really cool vintage vibe to it. Uh, on top of that, the library comes in Unify format for the plugin that we've released. At the end of this video, I'll show you the benefits of why it's in Unify format and what that makes that really cool. Okay. I'm not going to show it to you now. That's we'll show that at the end. So it comes as a folder that you download from the internet, of course, because that's how all the libraries that I sell at my website are sold. As you can see, there's an Omnisphere 2.6 folder, which has the dot Omnisphere file that you would load. If you go over to Omnisphere, there's an option right here that says install dot Omnisphere. You just select that. You navigate to this folder, to that file and select it and load it. There's the artwork. There's a readme PDF, which has information about installation, a little bit about the library, stuff like that. Then the Unify version has a dot guru file. All you have to do is drag this over Unify's interface and it will automatically install. So that's how you get everything installed. Let's go through the patches and I'm going to turn off the microphone and play through these patches. I've put the Unify interface underneath Omnisphere so that you can see the keys. I'm going to play keys. If I move the mod wheel, this number one with the pink bar will go up and down, but I'm going to kill the microphone so you don't hear all my stomping you just hear. So you hear the sounds better. So I'm going to mute the microphone and we'll play through some basses. So you can tell right off the bat, these are not just stock normal bases. There's, there's unique personality and all sorts of crazy things happening with the mod wheel. So keep, keep that uh, in the back of your mind when you hear these. These are not your basics.
Okay, now we are to BPM ARP and then BPM bass. So here we go. Again, just listen to character. These are character rich sounds. <laughs> Okay, that's BPM ARPS. Now we go to BPM BASE.
Right, now we have a BPM bell. Kind of sounds like a shimmer verb, but there's no shimmer verb, just good programming. Arcade kick, uh, some playtime effects. This is a fun one. You could take and put a groove with this. The Cloud City, let's get some. Playing one note, you get all these random notes. <laughs> so, yeah, those kind of things are definitely possible. <laughs> uh, space battle. BPM grooves. This can also show you, by the way, the CPU use. Because Omnisphere, some of these patches, because of Harmonia and Granular and Inner Space and other effects, you'll see there's some of these that require more CPU than others, depending on the programming and what tools were used to make the sound. soundtrack in there. All right, BPM guitars. Yeah, I'll turn off my microphone.
Look at Mama, I'm soloing! Could have called that practice like Jordan Rudas. <laughs> Here's BPM key. Oh, it takes out the pulse. Cool. BPM organs. Synchrotron That's cool. I think that's using the vocal vowel here. Here's without it. So uh, here's at the. Oh, we're cross. We we'll skip that one. Here's cross cross the expanse. BPM pads. I'll turn off the keys so you don't hear me thunking. BPM percussion, by the way. So you don't know what you're going to get. You also get patch names you can't pronounce. So these are some of the custom samples that are in the library. He recorded shears and scissors.
Okay, so now we're into BPM sequence bass. So I think that's more like playing just one note and it takes off and does a motif. So we're beeping guitars, sequence guitars. Pretty cool. So make sure you use the modulation wheel on all of these, as you can see. So this patch is inspired by motor synth, which is a really cool synth with like crazy uh, tube gear, crazy stuff going on. Uh, Pringled. Slice drum. That'd be fun with a groove. Gotta try it for a minute. Okay, so let's get back to where we were. Reset, reset, reset. On this here, come back. And go like this. Uh, continuing on here is Bollywood Dish. Here's 
chips are down. One note, that's all it takes. <laughs> Nice little melodies. Where the mod wheel is, you get two different vibes. Cool. Here's Fractal City. Thank you. 
unique sound. Again, four layers. Cool, unique stuff. Uh, now we're into BPM textures. Have no idea what you'll find here, right? So, few notes with this one. In cases like this, if it takes off and goes CPU crazy on you, look to see granular is being used. So maybe mute that layer. Look to see what's going on over here. Inner space is being used. Let's mute that. Now I should be able to... So you can mute layers. What is this layer doing? Let's listen and see. C with granular on is doing... It's cool, but because it's opening up and playing so many sounds, see all those little dots? Each of those is a re-triggering of the sample. So it's an awful lot of calculations and a single processor has a real hard time being pushed like this. You could go to Legacy, which is less CPU intensive. That's another option to use. So you could do that maybe just to keep it so it plays. So that's a free little tip into optimizing patches if they can't play on your computer. Find who has granular on, because chances are that's what's doing it. And then here's subcontinent.
Okay, so there's our BPM category. It's 128 patches. Half of the library is BPM. So it's like a BPM library inside of a library. You're getting like two libraries for one. Uh, guitars. Let's see what's going on here. Baltic Coast. Again, CPU heavy, blown in the wind. Nice. Ah. So here's blown in the wind. There's a guitar in there somewhere. Unique, very nice. Okay. Uh, smoky air. You let me kill my microphone. Have a handful of unique guitars, keys. You're all mute so you can hear the keys. Okay, now we're into leads. I'll kill my mic.
All right, organs. More keyboards, but more Hammond. Cool. Here's Pale Imitation. He actually uses and recreated the lines and it's very accurate. So, pretty cool. What's causing the CPU hit? Ah, let's turn off that oscillator and see. So we could turn back on that oscillator, go to granular, and let's try legacy mode. Ah, still too CPU heavy. So I would just mute that for my system. And it plays pretty good. Uh, wild Voxes. All right, pads. I'm gonna kill the mic so you can hear the pads without clunking.
So really nice. Cool. Uh, percussion, here's your special effects, snips, scissors. Plucky plucks. stuff all right we're into strings nice is mirror Devastation. Selena's evil twin. It's in there somewhere. All right, since. Some fun filter play, a uh, chaos theory. Poly lead. Uh, Turnia City. Expand your mind. Gliders over Ireland. <laughs> cool. Going for the one. Hold on my world. So we're 
we're in synth. Here's Homeworld. Unique synth. I think that's the key to this library. It's unique. Nothing is just straight ahead, normal what you'd expect. Unique and tons of character. Good combination. And lots of crazy stuff going on on the mod wheel. <laughs> Super cool. I love that patch. Magnetosphere. source razor bells ow Shifting sands. A singing saw blade. What's that sound like? Okay. Okay, I'll buy that. That's fine. <laughs> Bring rains. Oh, it goes down an octave. Cool. Uh, waves of light. Wormholes. little granular in there I'm sure all right synth effects weird stuff I think this is a didgeridoo in hell kind of thing Digital diving board. That's weird, but cool. Very cool. Uh, Hyper Tubes Express. Cool. Insanity Rising.
for some cool transition. You know, that kind of thing. Um. Precise hits. R2-D2, where are you? Yeah. Okay, wind tunnel. All right, we have some textures. Andromeda. Bell wave. This is using one of his custom samples in this library, Bell Wave. Very cool. Uh, covert Mission. Right. Crushed by Air. Drowning by Numbers. Gargantua. Cool. Haunted spaceship. Yeah, I'd buy that. Uh, induced psychosis. I don't know what they're feeding Tim out there in England. Why did it stir some creativity there? Uh, Last of the Steel Whales? That's cool. Ghosts. Oh. Memory. Oh, let's get to memories of Tibet. Metallic cave bells. Piano String Theory. Purple Phantoms. Reset. <laughs> Go over here, see, yeah, granular on this. Let's turn that off. Still hitting hard. There might be, yeah, of course, an inner space or two. Hopefully your system fares better than mine with these. Uh, Remagnetized. Cool. Not what you expect, which is what you expect. Stream of Consciousness. Then there's these trans. Like, like, I think like transitions for, put that into a groove. Kind of 
kind of effecty kind of things. Here's robotic shutdown. You know, that type of thing. Uh, then a couple of Vox patches. Okay, no going back. And then rising vapors. Okay. So that is 256 patches. I, actually, I'm surprised we went through as many as we did. Um, now, like I said, this library is available also in Unify format. And I'm going to use Unify now to play some multis because I can't, the multis just won't play on my system. They, they require too much power. Uh, but in Unify, I can call up the multis and it's because it's on separate cores, it works. So if I go over here and say multi, there's 10 multis that Tim converted into Unify format. He even added a Unify layer you can bring up if you want. And just as a comparison, let's try to play, just so you know that I'm not pulling your leg. Let's go over here to intertwined as a multi in Omnisphere. Go into Tetrasonics, intertwine, call it up. <laughs> this is what it will do on my system when I play this multi. So I can't, I can't play them. And that's the case with all of them. But over here in Unify, I can play all of them and they're fine. So that's one of the cool things with Unify is I can play multis that I can't play in Omnisphere. Here. On top of that, I'm not going to play all of these. This is the one I was playing at the beginning of the, the video. Right? On top of these, uh, Tim, Dale, and myself made some additional patches. So I made some that pull out just the ESQ samples by themselves. That, you know, it's not the crazy complex stuff you find in Omnisphere's library. It's just the samples, but I thought these were nice and they should be there so you can call them up and use them. Right? On top of this, we did some crazy things. BPM split things, loading up Omnisphere, like three or four layers of Omnisphere and all sorts of things in Unify to do all the things Unify can do really well. This kind of stuff, we love to do this kind of stuff in Unify. Those things are inside of the unified version of the library. There's additional patches and additional groove things in here. Uh, Synth Hero. This is why I think just takes one note. So this right here. So those are Omnisphere parts right there. On top of that, the whole library has been converted patch to patch. So this way Unify has the patches so you could call up uh, patches that are just a single Omnisphere. And then go searching around and maybe find something else in the library. Right click on these and add them. And you can find all sorts of beautiful, cool combinations. Then if you have some of our other libraries for other plugins, if you own Obsession, you could go over here and go to the pads and find some cool pad from Obsession.
right click and say add this to this and now you have all sorts of cool combinations so the Unify version of Tetrasonics just puts it into the world so you can combine patches from all of our different libraries. Okay, so that wraps up our tour of Tetrasonics. A library, 256 patches, 64 multis, 22 samples, and the whole library is available in Unify format. Play the multis and they'll play better for you. It's in the folder included with it, so you just download and you have the patches to work with if you have Unify. It's really, really fun. It's got a unique character, it's not trying to sound like things you've heard before. It's new things you haven't heard before. So that's what's really exciting about it. So enjoy. Thank you as always for your business. Hands together, head bow. See you in the next video. Okay.